Welcome to Gary Clark Tech. In this recording, we're going to look at a design pattern called the adapter pattern. Now, the adapter pattern is one which enables classes with different interfaces or with incompatible interfaces to work together. An easy way to think of it is like this. Say, for example, you're visiting three different countries and all those three different countries have different types of main socket, which are all a different size and shape. You need to charge your laptop, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna need an adapter. In fact, you'll need a different adapter for each different type of main socket. So, in this one, we're gonna look for that kind of problem in our code, and we're gonna solve it using the adapter pattern. Some housekeeping first, choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you would like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon and welcome. For this example, we'll go back to our file writer um, which we created in the dependency injection lesson and let's imagine that there's been an office vote and we've decided to use a new package which has a new file writer interface. And we're going to build into this some differences from the original file writer. So that had a method called write to file, which returned a boolean. This one is going to have a method called write, which won't return anything. It just writes to the file. Nothing is returned. So start thinking about the code we've already written. By that, I mean the client code of the file writers, which are calling a method called write to file. It's going to be incompatible with our new package. Let's uh, write a class which implements a new file writer. So like we have the CSV file writer, we'll now have a new CSV file writer. We'll go and borrow a bit of code from the existing CSV file writer. We'll just take these top two lines because of course we're not going to return the boolean in our new method. I'm going to go and create a file where we can test some of this stuff out. So inside of public, I'll create just a new plain PHP file and I call it adapter. Okay, so let's start off with some code that we've used before. We can borrow some of this from the dependency injection.php file. And there we're just requiring the vendor auto load. And instead of newing up a JSON file writer, we're going to create a new CSV file writer. If you look at the random processor, which is the client code that's going to use this, we have a problem. Expected parameter of type app file writer app new csv file writer provided let's look at the random processor so as you can see here in the constructor we're expecting a file writer however our new csv file writer implements new file writer incompatible also we're expecting the file writer to have a method called write to file our new file writer has a method called write thirdly we're expecting that method to return a result, but our new package, the write method, does not return anything. So I'll just mark this as void just to be explicit and fix the typo, does not return anything. So presently our new package, our new code isn't going to work. We need to write an adapter and this is how we do it. So we'll call it new file writer adapter because the new file writer is a class or the interface which is going to be adapted to work with our existing client code and the way it works is this we extend or implement the class or interface that your client code is using and you inject the class or the interface that needs to be adapted so in our case we are extending the file writer, that's the existing file writer, and what our client code is currently using. And then I've created a constructor and I'm injecting the new file writer through the constructor. I'll initialize the properties. And then we need to put something in our write to file method in order to write to a file using our new file writer. So we can say this file writer write because write is the method on the new file writer we pass in the data and in order to stay true and compatible to our current interface we need to return a boolean so let's just return true from there so have a look at what we've done we've got a method which is compatible with our current interface but we're still able to use the functionality of the new package let's go over to our adapter.php file and change this now to use our new code. So we're going to say new CSV file writer 
equals new CSV file writer. And then what we need to do is then inject that into an adapter. So file writer equals new, new file writer adapter, inject the new CSV file writer through the constructor and file writer adapter or new file writer adapter is an instance of file writer. So we can pass that into the random processor constructor. It has a write to file method. So it's compatible with the code which we wrote here in the random processor. And it also returns a Boolean result. Here's our random processor constructor expecting a file writer. It ticks all the boxes. So let's run it and see if this works. I'm fairly confident. Right into CSV file, continue processing. Let's go and check in against what we hoped to achieve with the adapter. Enables classes with incompatible interfaces to work together. So yeah, with our new file writer, we were able to make it compatible with the random processor by use of an adapter. Why not reach out to me in the comments and tell me what made you watch this video? Maybe there's something that either myself or my subscribers can help you with. If you got value from what you've watched, then give it a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share if you want to help other developers like yourself. That's what good developers do. And finally, if you want YouTube to show you more of my stuff, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon. I release new material every few days. Details of my schedule can be found on the community tab of my YouTube channel homepage. I'll see you in the next one.